Worst case scenario, all this forest will be gone by 2028. This is really hard to look at. Just barren, cracked earth. We're fighting against this. Do you really think that NFTs can save the planet? I think this is the only shot we got. This is not what you think. It looks like the face of Mars, but I'm actually in Gran Chaco, the second biggest native forest in South America. This is the lungs of the earth that produces the oxygen that we all breathe. Where I'm standing right now was trees just three months ago, but now it's all being deforested. I'm learning about how NFT technology can protect these trees on the ground, in the sky, and in space. So I've heard about this organization that can help you save this crucial region from deforestation by using NFT technology, or as they're calling it, NF trees. So I'm meeting one of the guys who's running it. His name is Facundo. See you, what, man. what are we talking about here? NF trees? Yeah, so the basic idea is that you can buy an NFT or NF tree as we call them. Yeah, I love that. And they represent a specific plot of land digitally so that you can make sure that your money can go help fund sustainable nature stewardship, you know? That's awesome. So I buy an NFT, does that mean I own the land? What you're buying is the digital representation of the land you're protecting. Over 500 different animal species, the over 3,000 plants there's in the, in the area. So there's a lot to protect, it's not just about the trees. If you take a look at South America, we are basically the lungs of the earth. Uh, we are sick. You know the Amazonas and you know how it burned down on fire a couple years ago and how the situation is not getting any better. Well, the same is happening here in Paraguay. Do you really think that NFTs can save the planet? If this technology works, it will be a game changer not only for El Gran Chaco here in Paraguay, but worldwide. So people buy an NFT, they're able to make donations to help conserve these forests, but what is the NFT? Is it like a photograph of a tree? The NFT actually represents not necessarily one tree, but it can actually be like a couple hectares, it can be one hectare, it can be one acre, depending on how you want to scale it, how you want to measure it. So on the NFT itself, you can actually get to see different stats that we verify of how much like uh, carbon dioxide is being uh, sucked because of the trees, how's the animal wife uh, doing. This all gets recording on, on the blockchain. I've also read that blockchain technology uses so much electricity that it's bad for the planet. Technology changes and uh, right now for every NFT you mint you're basically spending the same amount of energy as one transaction with your Visa debit card. I don't think I'm gonna quite understand this until I've been able to buy one of these NFTs. Open up your camera. Now I'm gonna show you actually a QR code that you can scan. All right, so I scan this QR code. NF trees, wow, that was fast. Okay, so I've got a 3D model of a tree being hugged by a camera with some drones flying on top of it yeah. and a satellite flying on top of that. We take all that information together and that's how we can actually measure, you know, whether nature as a whole is thriving or not. This dynamic NFT, you can actually take a quick uh, glimpse at it and you can actually tell just by looking at it like, okay, your area right now, it's all green. It's so perfect. you're saying that my NFT is a representation of what it actually looks like in that forest right now? Yeah. I want to find this specific tree. All right, let's go do it, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll see you in 12 hours, mate. I'll see you. We have been driving for 12 hours, but we've just arrived in Gran Chaco. I'm so excited to meet a ranger who's been here from the age of 26. 44 years he's been protecting this park. I want to learn what he's doing to protect this space and some of the challenges that he's experiencing. Saludino! ¿Cómo estás? Bienvenido al Parque Nacional de Rosario de ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Walking into the national park, you immediately appreciate the land, beauty, and the sheer abundance of nature and wildlife. Tomorrow, we're up early to explore the dense forest. But first, Silvino invites me to sit with them for dinner. You arrived in this region at the age of 26, and you committed your life to saving this part of the world. 
estamos manejando esa área cinco personas. Esto acá, acá para vivir. Hay que compartir con la naturaleza. Hay que gustar de la naturaleza. This part of the world has some of the worst deforestation rates on Earth. Why is that happening? Esto comenzó para ganadería. Prácticamente toda la gente venía al Chaco para dedicarse a la ganadería. Ahora cambia. Ahora es agrícola ganadera. Entonces vos podés dedicarte al cultivo de algodón, soja y también tener ganados. Por lo tanto, el que mejor le hace ganar es la soja actualmente. Es, muy, es más rápido su cosecha y mucha renta para, para tener plata. It feels to me like there's a conflict here because on one side, Paraguay is a nation of farmers and on the other side, you're saying we need to conserve these forests. How do you balance those two interests? Yo creo que hay que, hay que reglamentar y hacer cumplir las leyes. Por ejemplo, exigir es lo que eh, te dan la tierra que tú puedes este, dejar 20% de bosque y el resto puede, este, puede desmontar, puede cultivar y todo, y, pero hay que hacer cumplir. Hay que hacer cumplir las leyes entonces para que se pueda equilibrar. Porque te llevan tiempo para que pueda convencer a la gente, convencer a la gente que el área protegida es, son de todo, no son de los guardaparques. I hope some of the technology that I'm going to see this week can help with your efforts. It's sunrise and I'm heading to find my NF tree, but I'm also hoping to understand why Silvino and Facundo have devoted their lives to trying to save the forest. It's like the driest place I've ever been. You're telling me there's water under here? Que puede ser que tenga 25 kilo más o menos. Okay, so how deep am I going to dig? Hey, sí. Wow. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's crack it open. This is amazing. Just with some no local knowledge, we've been able to find this. And this is nutritional, it's full of water. It's my baby now. Up here you can find jacarees. Uh, tigers come up here to drink the water and the crocodiles. Wow, this has been an unbelievable walk. It's hot, but at least we've had a lot of forest covery covering well, us. It's funny that you say so because from 1985 to 2016, an area the size of England has been banished. One bulldozer can take down a whole hectare in two hours. That's a really scary idea. That means this forest can disappear like that. And I guess this is what you're talking about here. This is really hard to look at, to be honest. Just barren, dry, cracked earth. So basically, if you see these trucks, yeah. what they do, they carry out the cattle. And that's the one economic incentive people have. And we need to come up with some other incentives so we can stop this from happening. Did they clear this area recently? It's like a forest that's taking hundreds of years to grow, can be knocked down just like that. You've been trying to protect this land for over 40 years. And even though you're doing your best, it sometimes feels like you're losing this fight. How does that feel? A mí me da tristeza. Y donde unos tiene que luchar para sobrevivir y mantener el área protegida. Pero esto, esto que están pegados a nosotros, ya te comienza a cambiar todas las ideas. ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasará más adelante el día que yo me vaya de acá, por ejemplo? I would hate to come back in 20 years and see the forest that we've just enjoyed that's been lost. And for yourself personally, what are you fighting against? Uh, well, we're fighting against this. We're trying to prevent this from happening and we're trying to use the best technology available to actually channel donations that actually go through different projects that do have an impact. I just hope your rangers, boots on the ground and your drones and satellites in the sky together can help work this out. It's sad to see what's happening here, but Facundo is taking me deep into the forest to show me how the NF trees are combating the deforestation. Why are we strapping this Game Boy-like device to a tree? What is this? We set up all these different trap cameras in different places, and whenever we capture some footage of wildlife in action, we make it into an NFT so you can actually know what is happening like close to real time in this one area you are helping to protect. It feels like if we've all watched like Nat Geo and these, you know, environmental yep. shows, mm -hmm. you're turning that into like a real time reality yeah. show. Yeah, but you are part of the show. You're actually the one helping us set up these cameras and actually take a look at nature, whether it's thriving or not. So we know we, when we have to step in and when we have to help. If you don't see it, you don't feel it. And if you don't measure it, you cannot actually validate data and improve on it. It's your donation. Like this actually meant something from you. And now you actually see its growth. Now you actually see what impact is actually happening 
in the environment. So your donations are communicating with you. I bought one of your NFTs because I want to support work like this. I want to also be able to capture data and help preserve this space. But I want to see my NFT. Let's go find it. It's up that way. Wow, look at this one. That is the most unusual tree I've ever seen in my life. What is this? This is what, is this what I it think is. it is? It is. Really? Yeah, it is. This is the, uh, this is my NF tree. Wow. This is the one tree piece you're actually helping to protect. Seeing this up close and personal, it's really special. There is something else I want to show you. What's the worst case scenario? What's the best case scenario here? Worst case scenario, all this forest and everything that lives inside here will be gone by 2028. And the best case scenario, what, what can we do if we fix this? The best case scenario is that we learn to coexist as we have been doing since the beginning of times. We stop deforestation globally. It can take up to $40 billion a year, but we just want to help as much as possible and we can actually measure it thanks to satellite images. Now, this is what the entire world needs to see. This is one of the biggest carbon sinks in the world, and that's why we need to protect it at all costs. I have never seen a view like this in my entire life. It's like a carpet of forests. I can understand fully why you've spent the last 44 years of your life fighting for this. I've started to gain a small connection to this land, and I can't imagine what that's like for you. Silvino, Facundo, you have taught me such incredible lessons this week, and I just hope we can channel all those values back into ourselves so we can actually save this planet.